Epiphany 3, Year A. From the Gospel according to Matthew, immediately they left their nets and followed him. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our readings for this week ask us to discern what we might need to set down or leave behind in order to respond to God's call. Isaiah speaks of the people of Zebulun and Naphtali. Once they were known as the mighty warriors who Gideon called to defeat the Midianites against all odds, trusting not in their swords but in trumpets and torches hidden in clay jars and above all in the power of God. Many generations later, having put their trust in a balance of military power, their leaders are carried away into captivity in Assyria, never to be seen again. The people of Corinth have come to rely not upon their military might, but upon their wisdom. So it is that quarrels have arisen among them about who it is better to follow. Paul reminds them that the message about the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing, but to us who are being saved, it is the power of God. We've got to lay down our wisdom and rely upon the power of God if we want to follow Jesus. Matthew returns us to Zebulun and Naphtali, now known as the region of Galilee. When Jesus calls to Andrew and Peter, they lay down the nets upon which they have relied for their livelihood. When Jesus calls upon James and John, they leave behind their boat. Discipleship sometimes means setting aside for a moment or even for a long while the talents and resources upon which we've come to rely instead of trusting in the power of God. We too should be asking ourselves what it is that each of us should be laying down in order to become more faithful followers of Jesus. In Jesus, the power of God has appeared in Galilee not as a liberating army and not even as a more modest fishing enterprise, but as God come to dwell among us as one of us, laying aside his immortality in order to make himself the bait with which the disciples will fish for people. On the day when the jar of Jesus' humanity is broken, the light will spring forth with the dawning of their liberation and ours. In the name of our loving, liberating, and life-giving God, who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs>